couple inches of snow are covering much of the state as the flakes continue to fall this evening, creating treacherous conditions on the roads. KCCI has team coverage with crews all over the metro. Marcus McIntosh is in Des Moines. Todd Magel is in Waukee and Chris Gothner in Altoona. But first, let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Curtis Gertz. Yeah, snow covered roadways out there, ice covered roadways as you head down to southern Iowa. Roads improved somewhat uh, to the north, but overall, an impactful system across the state. Look at all our sky cams. Everybody's seeing snow covered roads and a snow covered landscape out there. A little worse across probably the southern half of the state with those lighter amounts as you head to the north. This is the most uh, intense snow right now. Warren County, Marion County, and Powashik County. The back edge of the snow starting to clear Dallas County. So a little more snow ahead for the metro. And then this is all sleet mixed in with some freezing rain down in southern Iowa. Things starting to ice up a bit, especially towards the Missouri border. Red Oak 8, Indianola 7 so far, West Des Moines 7, six and a half inches of snow downtown. Expecting the worst of this, our storm teammate weather alert through the early part of the evening with improving conditions overnight. You can see how quickly that snow lets up and that should be it for the system even before midnight in many spots. Lightest amounts, northwestern Iowa, four to eight southwest, central six to nine. I do think there'll be a band east that could be anywhere from eight to 11 inches as that intense snow slides off to the northeast. Winter storm warning, it continues until 6 a.m. across most of the state, obviously including the metro all the way into eastern Nebraska, parts of northwestern Illinois and southwestern Wisconsin. Travel impacts, the evening commute, snow, ice down to the south. High impact tonight, even though the snow and ice comes to an end. I think the morning commute will be slick and slow, especially on secondary roadways with a big improvement as the day goes along. Thank you, Curtis. A live look outside from our KCCI storm chaser at the roads in the metro. You can see the roads are nearly completely covered right now with snow. Iowa State Patrol says it's responded to 56 crashes and assisted 174 drivers between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. They're asking Iowans to not be out on the roads unless you have to. Absolutely. Well, the snow has been steadily falling most of the day here in the Metro. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is live in Des Moines with a look at how it is piling up. Marcus. Well, we're right now we're standing at 9th and Crocker right near downtown Des Moines. We've been out and about most of the day this afternoon while we were at Southwest 1st Street and Hillside Avenue. We met a woman who said she is ready for the snow. Bring it on. But you know, her furry friends were not exactly feeling that kind of love. Janine LaFoon says her dog, her dogs rather may be having second thoughts about the snow, but this is one lady who says it is about time. The one thing that took her by surprise is how much snow fell before noon, telling us she was expecting old man winter to start throwing those haymaker punches later in the afternoon. For her, the bottom line is this is winter in Iowa and everyone who lives here knows or should know that a snowstorm is not uncommon and something people living here should be used to. This is Iowa's weather. We're in the Midwest and it seems like we're right in the middle of everything. You go south, it's a lot nicer. You go north, it's worse. Coming up tonight at 6, we talk to Des Moines Public Works Director. He tells us how the, how the snow plows and his crews are faring getting the snow off the roads and whether or not this storm provided any kind of things they weren't expecting. Live in Des Moines, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Thank you, Marcus. Well, the western edge of the metro is getting slammed with heavy snow and low visibility. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel has been out in it all day. He's live tonight in Waukee. Todd? Scott, we are on Grand Prairie Parkway. Main Waukee is that way. The uh, intersection with I-80 is just to the south of where we are now. As you can see, the snow is back. We've been out here for a couple hours now. It'll stop, calm down. It'll come back. Take a look down uh, where my feet are here. Officially totaled so far about six and a half inches of snow. It looks like there's maybe four or five here uh, in front of the come and go where we are right now. Of course, the best advice is not to be out because this is the same snow here that's on the roads and it hasn't all been plowed. We do have some video we shot earlier of some of the plows and traffic out on uh, the freeway and Interstate 80 as you come west into the Waukee area and the Grand Prairie Parkway uh, exchange. Um, 
The plow started earlier today. Uh, they have been out, but they have a hard time keeping up, so most of the roads are still 100% snow and ice covered. It's very difficult to see the lines in the roads or where the curve stops and where the road begins. And we found that when we were getting off the interstate here uh, out west. So another good sign just to stay indoors. We did find one driver, though, here at the come and go earlier who just bought a new Suburban, and she wanted to get out and uh, give it a test. Well, I think if you don't have a vehicle for it, you probably shouldn't be out at all. And the road conditions are pretty bad, but they, all these guys are working real hard to get it cleared, so. So she made it out okay, and of course there is a little traffic out here behind us uh, where we are now, but again, best advice, especially as it gets dark, very difficult to see with some of these whiteout conditions, and it looks like this snow may be ending soon according to radar, but as you can see, it's still coming down pretty hard. We're live in Waukee, Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Thanks so much, Todd. Glad to see light traffic out there, but west to east, the storm is not letting up. We're covering all parts of central Iowa, so KCCI's Chris Gothner is live in Altoona. What are conditions like there, Chris? Yeah, we're off the Adventureland exit right now here in Altoona. It appears there's some sort of a traffic tie up here right off the exit. You can see a couple uh, big rigs that appear to be just uh, motionless right now as they're kind of just stuck there. And you see Altoona police officers uh, uh, assessing the situation and dealing with it. I mean, the truck situation right now is not good for those truck drivers. That's why a lot of them right now are coming here to the uh, Flying J and just uh, calling it a night. Take a look at some video. Photojournalist John Houghton had from a, thank you, had from a, uh, his vehicle on I-80, uh, camera mounted camera there, sorry about that. We, uh, uh, road was still passable. Luckily we do have all wheel drive though, but there was a noticeable drop off in conditions heading east passing the Highway 65 exit. Now, of course, we mentioned we talked to some of those truckers and they say they are playing it safe right now. I'm done. I sat back in um, Shelby, Iowa for a little while. I said, well, it looked like it slowed down. I got back on the road. I said, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> so this is it for me. Now, that driver we talked to says really the hardest part about driving a big rig in all this is getting around all the small cars. They're kind of little mini hazards right there. We'll be back here in Altoona with more coming up on KCCI 8 News at 6. But for now, live in Altoona, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Thank you so much, Chris. Well, there might be nearly 600 uh, plows out there right now, but Central Iowa is under a tow ban. So that includes Dallas, Jasper, Polk, Story, and Warren counties. That means if your car gets stuck, a tow truck will not come out to pull you out until that ban is lifted. The snowstorm is affecting dozens of flights in and out of the Des Moines airport. Flights to and from all across the country were canceled today, likely due to the snowstorm. So be sure to check your flight before you head out. And DART is asking riders to be patient because the winter storm is likely to cause delays for buses. This is especially during and after evening rush hour. DART encourages passengers to track the bus's time before you wait long outside. Text DART and your stop ID number to 515515 for real arrival times. DART will also update their website periodically with any service delays. And the winter storm is causing a delay in coronavirus testing, sample transport and processing. Test Iowa says it can't get samples to the state hygienic lab from some parts of the state because of poor travel conditions. That means it could take a little bit longer for you to get your test results. Well, KCCI will help you stay on top of the winter storm. We'll have live updates on air at the top of every hour. You can also find the latest conditions online at KCCI.com and on our free KCCI weather app. There you will find full forecasts, live radars, and alert. It is free to download for all devices.